let's make one more exercise in autodesk inventor this is your model all dimensions are in millimeter material is stainless steel so here we are going to start with top plane you will see this is our top plane the width and height 154 millimeter and if you see this section view this height going to be 25 and at bottom there is one circular solid body we are going to attach 112 millimeter diameter 6 millimeter thick you will see the here, here one line and see the corner rectangle 26 4 number of rectangles then there are four holes 26 and the diameter 20 so let's do this select here new go to metric select standard millimeter ip dot ipt because i want to keep my drawing in millimeter create now first i am going to select start 2d sketch now here we have many planes so i am going to select xz plane now see we entered in sketch mode now from drop down the rectangle mode and here you will select two point center rectangle now just move our cursor to origin point and you will see it it, it becomes green now press left mouse and drag and even you can second mouse and place it but before going to place we have option you can simply put dimension 154 press tab key in keyboard again press 154 enter just zoom right click say ok now look this is created now simply finish sketch and here activate extrude feature now this window will open input geometry profile already selected because of only one close profile a sketch going to start from the XZ plane and here behavior now we have to change di direction so I'll keep and distance it's 25 now see now this is the name of solid body and taper we don't need so simply say yes now material I am going to apply is stainless steel so just find out stainless steel and here okay uh, appearance we will do at letter fillet constant fillet already selected now let me add fillet how much the fillet 28 now I am going to select just move your cursor to a corner and it will highlight it by a red line just click and select even hidden edges also you can select see now simply press yes and here we created hole now I am going to add hole here four holes so first is input geometry before going to press input geometry okay you have to select type which type of holes so select here simple hole and seating there are many types I am going to keep none then termination I want to make throughout hole so simply choose through all and here you have to keep direction so diameter the 20 millimeter and just simply press here and select this outer edge so that it will come at the center point of this hole now again press somewhere here now select this outer face again I am going to press here and I am going to select outer face see it is aligned now hold hold and press shift key and rotate with middle mouse press and select this outer edge now see ok now the hole is created now hold shift hold and press shift key and rotate with middle mouse select back surface click this sketch create sketch activate circle now press at origin point you will see 0 0 now these diameter 112 millimeter right click ok now this is fully constrained sketch so simply finish sketch and click extrude now profile already selected start sketch also selected and here behavior arrow going to perfect direction thickness or distance 6 millimeter 
but here output going to change it is going to boolean going to change it is going to join because we already have one solid body so you have to select join if you select cut it will cut inside up to 6 millimeter but I am going to select join say ok now let's make this central part you will see this center distance 92 corner radius 18 and there is a this rib 10 10 18 millimeter center distance and corner to corner distance you will see 62 millimeter but this is a straight so just remember this one and uh, uh, height you will check out from here 31 millimeter then later we will make a threaded hole m20 into 2 is the pitch depth of this threaded pitch is 22 a uh, threaded is 22 thread depth and the depth of hole is 26 so let's try this now select this face a sketch now I am going to activate circle now it's uh, 18 into 2 okay now let me right click and exit of sketch and activate line don't select any particular just create one now activate constraint tangent select this circle and this line this circle a line and circle similarly line and circle similarly line and circle now right click exit now I am going to select vertical select this point origin point this point origin point that's it now select again horizontal constraint I am going to select this point this point now select this point and this point now see this comes in one line right click OK activate smart dimension center distance going to be 92 but this is not defined so just defined half also 90 if you see equal to this divided by 2 ok now define these two center to center 62 Perf now it is fully constrained but we need more activate line tool connect up to here ok let's continue and make uh, uh, what we need connect to this line ok now activate the smart dimension 10 10 and keep the distance 18 I am going to add one center line connect from here to here and here now select both the line right click construction ok let's uh, add do it by line now distance from here to this point make it half so I am going to simply write half of the 9 millimeter now this is seems to ok here supposed to be one line here let me click and continue ok ok one more collinear now I am going to select this one and this one cancel now you will see here this gap for uh, distance from outer edge is 14 millimeter and this is symmetric so we will keep 14 millimeter from here dimension okay right click 
okay now i want to mirror this so just find out mirror option first act select feature select and i'm going to select these lines which i want to mirror see apply mirror line mirror line so select this one apply see this is mirror but we forget to add some lines here this vertical lines activate line tool and add it okay this is fully constrained drawing now simply select finish sketch extrude now look here we have too many close profile so we have to select now first is profile start condition already there so i'm going to select one by one all profile and here see direction is moving positive direction this is what i want and depth this is going to be 31 output boolean join say okay hole now here i am going to select tabbed hole because i want to add thread hole now type isometric profile now here size 20 now this is the size m20 into 2 this is our pro 6 is the thread class and depth is going to choose termination distance now angle tip according to our drawing and depth how much thread depth 22 and the overall depth how much it's going to 26 now first you have to select position see here now now move cursor select one point and select the outer face see it is set at the center similarly i am going to press somewhere here and i am going to select outer face and it will adjust because this is lies at the center point say ok now if i am going to hold shift key and rotate see now going to add fillet now this fillet 12 millimeter and i am going to select here simply one two three four okay now again i want to add hole here so select hole now this time i am going to select simple hole sitting none and here distance distance either okay let's choose through all what is diameter of this hole 10 now place here somewhere and select this outer face so it will adjust at the center of this simply i'll press here and select outer face look and this cut all simply say yes now look the hole is added now what else balance now at center there is one hole 28 diameter throughout counter bore hole and the diameter of counter bore 40 depth 42 you will see in section view 40 28 and this is the depth depth you will see with diagram so this is what only balance thing hole now here i am going to select simple hole but sitting i am going to select counter bore and hole here choose throughout now here you have to change counter bore diameter 40 now depth of counter bore 42 and depth of the center hole 28 now press our mouse here now let me zoom ok I am going to press here now you have to select two dimensions so i'm going to select this one this distance should be 62 divided by 2 now edit sketch 
now selected select this line also now this distance also you have to define and this distance this is horizontal 9 mm ok enter now this located at perfect position now let me go to view section view let's check half view and I am going to select plane yz say ok and just rotate hold shift key and rotate with middle mouse and you will see this is what I want to make so this is how we did a simple exercise in Autodesk Inventor now simply end section view finish I am going to change something appearance you can change smooth yellow I hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in Autodesk Inventor thanks for watching